Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be checking out how we can plot stock market data using Python. So we are going to be recreating what you can see on screen right this moment. You can see that we have the stock prices of both Tesla and Google printed for a certain time span. You can also see that in the bottom right corner we have a small legend which tells us which line corresponds to which stock. And in addition to that, we've also added a title and the uh, axis are both labeled. So let's go ahead and create this. The first thing you need to make sure is that you have the right packages installed. We are going to need three packages for this. We are first going to need matplotlib. So you're going to write in pip install matplotlib. And I already have this installed, so it will tell me that the requirement is already satisfied. The next thing you're going to need is pip install um, pandas. And this is also already installed, so this requirement is satisfied. It might be different for you. And the final one is going to be pandas data reader. And so we're going to pip install pandas underscore data reader. Oh, hold on. Uh, this is actually a really common mistake and I'm glad I made it because over here we need to use a hyphen when we are installing the package and when we import it later on in the editor we need to use an underscore. So we want to write pandas a hyphen data reader. And you'll see that this requirement is also satisfied. If you want to check what packages you have installed by the way, you can also go ahead and type in pip list. And this might give you a bit of an easier way to check out if you have the uh, right packages installed. Over here again, you can see that I have pandas, pandas data reader, and further down, I have matplotlib somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, over here, matplotlib. All right, so after you've made sure that all the packages are installed, you want to go ahead and start the imports. So I'm going to first start and import date time. This will allow us to determine the uh, period of time which we want the, um, the uh, prices to be collected for. And we're going to import it as DT, short for date time. Then from, uh, hold on, from matplotlib, we want to import pi, pi plot as plt. This is going to help us plot the diagram and then from matplotlib again we want to import style and in addition to that we also need to from pandas data reader import the data and we're going to import it as pdr pandas data reader. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to define a start date and an end date and we want to get all the stock prices between these two dates. So let's go ahead and uh, create these dates. Start and end and for start we're going to say dt.datetime and we are going to take all the stock prices since the beginning of the year 2019. So the 1st of January and then uh, for the variable end we are also going to make it a date time and we are going to get all the courses up until the date when we are recording this video and we are recording it on the, 20, 20, uh, on, uh, the 14th of August 2020. So let's include an 8 for August and the 14th. All right, so now we have a start date and an end date, and we now need to go ahead and get the data. So we are going to write uh, Tesla, Tesla, and this variable is going to store all the stock prices for Tesla that we have in this date range. So we're gonna write PDR, pandas data reader, data reader, and then this, there we, we, we need to pass in a couple of arguments over here now. The first argument is the ticker symbol of Tesla. It is usually like a three or four character uh, combination that specifies 
the uh, stock on the stock market for Tesla. It is going to be TSLA. You can find them on Wikipedia and Google. They're really easy to find. Then the next thing is the data source, as you can see over here, the data source none. And the data source we're going to be passing in is Yahoo because we're going to be getting the data from Yahoo. Now you don't need to get it from Yahoo. Let me just briefly show you that there are other methods. I'm going to go to the declaration of data reader, Yahoo. You can see over here that the expected sources are among other things, things like NASDAQ over here or Quandl. Uh, you can see that Yahoo, which we've used over here, is only one of the possible options. Oh, wait, let me jump back. Yahoo is only one of the possible options. The reason why we're using Yahoo is because it's for free and it is really simple to use for beginners. Then the next two arguments we need to pass in is the start and the end date. And that is, defines the time span of what, um, yeah, of when we want these courses, uh, when we want these prices, I mean, to be collected. So start, uh, comma, end. All right, so we have Tesla, we've got the data. Now we need to make sure that we use the right style of plot. So we're gonna write style.use, and we're just gonna use ggplot. And then we need to make sure that we actually um, tell Python what we want to plot. So we're gonna write Tesla. And then in square brackets um, afterwards, we want to plot the um, close price. So there are several options that you can uh, put up in here. You can um, also go ahead and uh, plot the adjusted close price, the highest price of the day, the lowest price of the day. But we're just gonna stick to the close price. Um, we could choose any other, but uh, for the purpose of exposition, we're just gonna stick with that for the moment. So Tesla close dot plot. And then we need to define the fig size. Size, and the fig size is of course how big the figure is going to be, and it is going to be eight by eight. Um, you'll see later when we vary this, uh, the size of it uh, will change. And we're going to give this line a label. Um, and this label is going to, oh, hold on, label. And this label is going to be useful when we're creating the legend in the bottom right corner. So make sure you pass in a label and we're gonna pass in the label Tesla. Tesla. Te oh, hold on, Tesla, I can't type today. There we go. All right, so now we've told it what to plot. And let's go ahead and quickly show the result that we have at the moment. So we're gonna write plot.show and then empty brackets. So at the moment, we should only have the um, Tesla stock price uh, plotted. Let's go ahead and see if there's no mistakes. So I've just gone ahead and run it, and there is a, oh, I've made a, a small typo. Instead of shot, I of course want to write show. Um, <laughs> and you'll see that now, we have a nice diagram showing the, um, the Tesla stock price, but there's still a couple of things we wanted to add to it to get to the diagram that we had at the beginning. We still wanna add a title, we still want to label the axis properly, and we want the Google stock price and a small index. So there's still a couple of things we want to change. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're also going to add Google on top of uh, this. So we're gonna write Google, and this is going to store all the data for um, Google, so data reader. Then the ticker symbol for Google is Goog, I think. I hope that's right. And the source of data is going to be Yahoo again. And we are going to pass in the same start and end date. There we go. And we are simply gonna copy and paste this line of code as well to make sure that we are telling Python that we want to not only plot Tesla, but we also want to plot the close price of Google. 
And we of course want to adjust the label. We don't want to call it Tesla. We want to call it Google. There we go. So now we should have a beautiful diagram which shows us both uh, the prices of Google and Tesla. Let's see if that's going to happen. Yep, we have both Google and Tesla in our diagram. So a couple of small changes we still want to make. Uh, the next thing is the um, title of our plot. So we're going to write plt.title, which is quite intuitive. And we are simply going to write something like Tesla, Tesla vs Google. Google. And in addition to the title, we are also going to add a um, legend. So we're going to write plt.legend, legend, and there we need to specify a location. And the location is simply going to be the lower right. So we're going to write in lower right. All right, so we have made moves. And this should look really fancy. Are uh, ready for your next finance presentation. So yeah, there we go. We have a nice index. Uh, I mean, a legend over here. We've got the date, uh, the title, both graphs. But I still need to add the um, a label to the y-axis. So we're going to write plt, plt dot uh, y label is um, price in US dollar, price, price in US dollar. And we want to specify the, uh, specify the font size. So we're going to write, hold on, font size, font size, size is equal to 15. Uh, I made a typo, hold on, there we go. Font size is equal to 15. All right, so this should do the deal. Um, we have nearly gotten to the point uh, that we wanted to. So now you can see that we have both the axis labeled and you can see that I added a uh, uh, like a line of code to specify the axis, uh, the Y label axis, and I haven't got, uh, I didn't specify the label for the X axis, and that is because it labels this axis by default. But say you wanted to change the default value away from date, so you could go ahead and uh, specify that by writing in plot dot X label, and then you could say something like date um, and and time. Uh, let's say that is what you wanted to add. And you can also specify the, the font size. And it will then override the default and give you the, um, yeah, it will give you what you typed in and specified, um, as you can see right here. So now we have uh, exactly what we wanted to. One final thing that I can uh, show you guys is how to add the grid lines. So let's say you would want to add a pair of grid lines. You can simply go ahead and do that by writing plt.grid, grid, and then you can go pass in some arguments such as the color, color, and we are simply going to give it the color black, black, hold on, black, and then we want to specify the line style. The line style is going to be um, a simple like dotted line. Uh, oh no, it's going to be like a, a, a dashed line. So we're going to do something like this. And we also want to add uh, a line width, line width to this. And the line width is going to be one pixel. So this should be our graph done and dusted. Let's go ahead and run this one more time. I hope uh, it shows us exactly what we want. And yeah, you can see that it has gone ahead and added some grid lines. And we have um, the beautiful graph that we set out to uh, program in the first place. All right, so if this video helped you out, then make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to this channel if you are new. And let me know down in the comments below if these types of videos are gonna help you out and what other topics you would like to see on this channel. See you in the next one.